vanish broke here on my mop beta tune my van is broke <laughs> yeah because i was one letter short and that's the name i ended up with so let's just go with that but yeah pet battles are you guys pretty excited about it i definitely am because it's pretty cool that we can use these pets for something awesome other than just collecting them or showing them off in orgrimmar or in raids right so in this video i'll be sharing to you my top 10 pet picks for the pet battle system that will be available for the mist of pandaria there are 10 pet families in the game and i'll be picking the pet i would most likely go with per family for a total of 10 pets if you have the beta and for some reason your pets have mysteriously disappeared just copy your character over again and they should be there the bug probably had to do with when you copied your tune over, if it was like before the tab was implemented in beta or whatever, I don't know, beta's pretty buggy. But anyway, on to the top 10 pet picks. As you guys can see, we have a filter here that we'll be using to classify the pets per family. And you'd notice that some pets don't have that much abilities for some reason. I'm not sure if Blizzard will still add to those or what, but my picks will be based on whatever is out at the moment. Alright, so first up is the humanoid pet family, and we have a couple examples here like Deathy, Guild Page, Moonkin Hatchling, Pelfi, and Winter's Little Helper, and a bunch of other stuff. But I think I'm gonna go with the Pandera and Monk because it's Mr. Pandaria. I mean, like, how can you not give this cute guy a chance to do the pet battle system? I think he's gonna be a good pick because he has these awesome moves like Jab, Focus Chi, Fury of the Thousand Fists, Take Down, Staggered Steps, and Blackout Kick. Keep in mind that the Pandaria Monk is really good against the Dragon Kin family, and he's pretty weak against beasts. For a second pick, I'll be choosing from the Dragonkin family, and this family consists of the miniature dragon stuff that we have seen, like the little Taragosa or the little Deathwing, Crimson Whelpings, and all the other colors. For this one, I'll be going with the Dark Whelping. The Crimson Whelping does have a full set of abilities, and he's really good against the Magic family. But what's really cool about the Dark Whelping is that he can cover up to 5 different families of pets. Depending on his abilities, he can go pretty good against Magic, Dragon Kid, Mechanical, Aquatic, and Critter. So he's really good to bring along for fights that you don't know what kind of pet your friend is going to bring. You're going to be covering like half of the pet family, so that's a pretty good variety pet to bring. The third is the flying family and this is where the flying pets that are non-dragon belong to, such as insects and birds, like the griffin hatchling, tiny flamefly, and the hyacinth macaw, which is one of my favorite pets ever, but unfortunately only has one ability list so far, so I'm not going to be picking that one. For the flying, I'll be picking the blue moth, which is funny because in real life, whenever we see a moth, we don't really want it to be around us we'd most likely kill it <laughs> but if it was as cute as this one i so won't mind having it flutter around me the blue moth is awesome against the aquatic family and has a disadvantage against the dragonkin the fourth family is the undead and i actually only have three collected under this category and i'll be picking little kt for now as he's the only one with the full set of abilities from my set and also he reminds me of one of my favorite raids which is nax and i still remember finally getting that calamity's grasp which everyone wanted like all the rogues and all the enhancement shamans wanted it so i think i was like the fifth person to get it from my guild at that time anyway back to little kt he's really good against humanoid and the mechanic mechanical families, but he's bad against the aquatic and critters. Speaking of critter, that's our next family to go over and from this list, I'll be picking this cute squirrel named Nuts. He's the 100 pet achievement reward and he's pretty funny because sometimes he'd throw an acorn on your head and it would daze you for a few seconds. This little guy is strong against the undead but weak against the humanoid. The sixth is the magic family and this is where pets like the disgusting oozling, mana Wurbling, and enchanted broom belong to. Children's week is one of my favorite in-game holidays and a few years ago I got Willy. I didn't really like him at first because he looks kind of weird to me but someone told me that he falls asleep sometimes which I find really adorable. I like that he has this ability called clone magic which copies the last attack that was done by your opponent and also prismatic barrier which protects your team from the next two attacks at the cost of not being able to do damage that turn. I just hope that he doesn't fall asleep during the battle. There's a zombie on your lawn. 
<laughs> I hope you guys liked my rendition of the Singing Sunflower song because that's what I'll be picking for the Elemental Family. This pet is obtainable by doing the Plants vs Zombies quest in the game and I gotta say that's one of the coolest quests I've ever done. I wish I could do this quest unlimited times just for fun and also just to pass time. The Singing Sunflower is good against the Mechanical family and also really bad against critters. The Beast family is generally good against critters and for our 8th pet, I'll be picking the pint sized pink pachyderm because nothing says like, Grr, I'm gonna destroy all you tiny critters! Like a freaking elephant stampeding around. They are weak against the flying family though. So we have two more families to go and the next one is the aquatic family. Here we have pets like Mojo, Tree Frog, Wood Frog, and Strand Crawler. For our ninth pet, I'll be picking Jubbling because he's the only one who has a full set of abilities so far. He's pretty good against elemental but pretty bad against magic. Yay, we're on our 10th and final pet pick. We have the mechanical family of pets which includes Little Smokey, Mechanical Chicken, Pet Bombling, The Creepy Crate, and more. For this family, I'll be picking the Tranquil Mechanical Yeti because he's pretty big and he looks kind of scary. I think he can scare the opponents away. Maybe. <laughs> He has a full set of abilities which works against Beast really well, but bear in mind that he's also pretty weak against the Elemental. So that's it guys, I have picked 10 pets, one from each pet family, that I'll definitely be considering using for the upcoming pet battle system that will be available in Mist of Pandaria. I really can't wait for this feature. Do you guys collect pets as well? Let me know in the comment section below how many pets you currently have and also what your favorite pets are. I also want to let you guys know that I'll be hosting a pet giveaway soon on my personal channel which is youtube.com slash myvanishbroke and I encourage you to subscribe on my channel so you'd be in the know right away when that video gets posted. And also you do need to be a subscriber on my channel to be eligible for that giveaway. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Again this is Vanish and until next time, bye! This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video. To learn more, please visit TGN.TV.